So what happened was when I turned to look at her, two of the cubs, as you see the video starts, took off at nine o'clock and they were right at her feet. They were right there feeding with her. And so when you see the video starting, she's trying to figure out why the cubs took off and, and then you'll see her take off and approach that other cherry tree. She swats at me right here. And I didn't realize it until I looked at it when I blowed up the video. You see the two cubs going up right there. And I didn't. I thought the cub was going up through the woods, but actually he's climbing the tree. And I didn't realize it. And I'm trying to figure out where that third cub went. And so I, I'm getting a better view here. I want to see what's going on around me. And so I zoom back in. And she looks at me and she gives me another false charge right here. Oh, oh man. <laughs> and I'm like... Do I stay or do I go? And, but I could see she you, was looking for the cubs. And you didn't really have any place to run either. I, I was on the bike trail. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't. I was going to go backwards. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I knew that third cub, the first cub I seen go up the tree to her, her right. So I see her looking right here. And this kind of had me wondering what she's going to do. But I didn't realize that that tree she's going to right now, that cherry tree, there's a cub up that tree. And so she's looking at me, and, the, and the, it looked like slobber, but she's eating. And so she's finishing up her whatever she was eating. And she's, I think she's trying to sniff. Well, I could hear her. I was like she was grunting and she's snorting. So here's a false charge. Oh. I'm like, I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> and after I realized that she wasn't going nowhere, then I was comfortable. After I realized she wasn't going to attack me. Go ahead. You know, just so you know, I I heard that uh, the bear can outrun a racehorse. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but I'm I'm still right here. I'm looking underneath the camera and trying to find the the cub. You can see the cub taking off, and I didn't see it because I'm looking under and above it, trying to at the same time, trying to keep an eye on Mama. And when we come back, she actually stood up on me, and that had me concerned. And right there, you'll see she's, I think it's this one. She's looking right now. And watch this. We all see this. Oh, my. I was like, okay, Dill. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before. That was I didn't cool. either. That's what had me concerned. And I was like, <laughs> I got to stay still. Don't move. And the only reason I stayed still because she wasn't aggressing me. She was staying right there in that spot. Mm -hmm. And so, am I pushing my time, my limits? Probably. And she did it again. And to me, that's a self-warning. She's letting me know to, you know, don't come any closer. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And I feel, put the head down like that. She's, she's sniffing around. She's trying to find them cubs. She's trying to figure out where that one cub went. And you'll notice she's looking... Behind, right there, she's looking up, and then yeah, I think there's another false charge right here coming up. Yeah, she's kind of got her head on a swivel. Yeah, she's. I think she knows that. I didn't realize that cub was up that tree, and I'm sure that probably the other cub probably went up pretty close by. So I come back and I look it back up. I'm trying to find that cub. I couldn't find it, so I back it up to get a better view of everything and I'm still trying to watch her while I'm doing this still couldn't find it <laughs> that goes to show you how far up the the cup had yeah, gone I knew it went up pretty good then uh, I back it up and I spot it in that opening right there so this kind of told me when, the, when I seen the cub coming down, I knew it was about time for me to get out of there. <laughs> Not five minutes ago either. Yeah. And I knew they were ready to come down to mama. But in reality, I know the, it's five minutes, but it seemed like it was like only a minute or two because, you know, you're really <laughs> trying to figure out the whole scenario. Well, and you probably also at this point, you kind of don't want to turn your 
back and just walk, right? And what's your exit strategy? That was, well, through my martial arts, that's what I did. I just backed up. Now, I see her right here. She's sniffing. I thought she was standing up on me, and she did. Well, she, that's what a coon hound does when they tree a coon is they go up, they put their paws and they sniff up the tree to the coon up. That's what she's doing. She trying to figure out if her cub went up that tree. Okay. In my mind, that's what she's done. She knows that that cub's up that tree by smelling it. And so I backed up maybe 10 or 15 feet, just walked backwards, and, and uh, I got out of there. I didn't stick around. <laughs>